Hello, I'd like to share my furnace operation. And here we go. This little operation, this little module, will take in the ore that's brought in by the requester chest and sends out down the belt. And coming back from my furnaces, we have the plates going to the requester chest and going back to the robot network. Now this little design is copied in many places. And it doesn't matter what the furnaces look like, so I decided to try different designs. I wanted something that would automatically choose whether to put in the furnaces the coal or the iron. And here's what I have. There is a constant combinator that has a, a target quota for the copper plates and a target quota for the copper for the iron ore. And at the moment they're both set saying that I want 25,000 of each. These get sent to a arithmetic combinator that looks to see how much we have and does the target quota minus how much we have to output the current deficit or how far away we are from the target quota of our stockpile of plates for both iron and copper. Now at the moment I want there to be 25,000 copper and yet there's 29,000. So there's a surplus of copper and we see zero copper going down the belts because it's being controlled by the computer saying that we don't need any. Also we have a target quota of 25,000 iron yet we only have 23. A deficit is being output of around 400 um, iron but rather than sending a request for 400 iron to every single requester chest, it goes through a modifier so that each requester chest only requests a small portion of the total deficit. So at the moment, a copper train has arrived to take some copper plate away. The computer sees that the current stockpile is less than our target quota and copper is being sent down the belts. Then I have progress bars for the fullness of copper ore, fullness of iron ore, fullness of plate, and at the very last, the four light bulbs which show the utilization of the robots. There's 650 robots and zero available. As soon as the chests are refilled, the lights will come back saying that we have robots available to fill the jobs. So on a progress bar over time, there are situations where the two will be in balance, then a train will arrive and take, say, copper ore, and then you have this shape going on where the production of one is increasing while the production of other is decreasing. And you have this wave that sometimes presents itself over time where they each one goes up while the other goes down, and then they take turns switching back and forth. So I have this little design, which I think looks a bit like a heat sink right here. And it doesn't matter which furnace design I use, so I tried a couple. This person wanted a furnace design, and he was limited by a width of 28 blocks. And so this is a tweak of his design. Conversely, you can also try like any of these designs. And I think it's pretty cool that it's so module that you can do whatever you want with it. So that's all I have. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions or are inspired to do something, let me know. See you later.